hi everyone our today's second lesson in html is how to create table in html so first of all i will show you tables in ms word normally we create tables in ms word like this see so tables how to create we create using table property like this serial number name ict maths and one two three this, this is the student data so in table first we want heading so class mark sheet or timetable then first row in the table is known as heading okay and then after first row this is the data data in the table so we will discuss table attributes today so first attribute is table then second attribute is table heading th okay then third row uh, uh, third attribute is td table data but for all table row is uh, another tag to create a row so first we will use a table attribute then row then heading and then table data and then other attributes we will discuss for, for example to set the borders of the on the table okay so let's move to the lesson we will open previous file lesson one file so this was the first lesson we created so i have written you all for all okay i will delete this so first we will use table attribute start and close table attribute enter here bring it down before table we want the heading you know class mark sheet is there for that we have learned before this h1 tag so we will use h1 for example this is uh, class mark sheet okay and then close h1 this is the heading of the table now within the table please use tab keys this one bring it here so first row as i mentioned this is table heading so sorry first we will create a table row tr okay in first row we want to give the headings like roll number name marks email address phone number so for that we will use table heading this one okay table heading so it is uh, serial number then we will use the close uh, close table heading HTML is a case, not case sensitive. You can write upper case, lower case, makes no issue. Okay, this is like this. This is upper case, so no issue. But we will keep it small. Okay. Now, second is so instead of typing again and again, so copy this row and paste it. for time uh, five time now change the values in first second column we want to display name and third column we want to display different subjects for example physics ICT maths okay this is the first row but this is a table heading and we will close a table row here first row close now copy this row and paste it here 
the second row is data so we will replace d with h we will replace d with h td h here a d d d So we have replaced all H with D, table data. So second row contain data. So now we will write the data here. Row number one. What is the name under heading name? For example, Ahmed and marks in physics 40, marks in ICT 45, marks in maths 35. Now, how many rows you want? No need to type again and again. Just copy this code and paste it here. This is a third row. Now change the data. Data second row, overall third row. So name is, we will change the name. Ali, change the marks 42, 40, 30. So this is a third row second row of the data second students marks now we want third student copy the row here change the data three that is Zainab 45 46 maths 50 so three table data one table heading overall four rows and close the table table here okay so this is the end of the table now we will save and see the results we have saved the table uh, file and open our file where is our file this same file we have done sorry this one Wow, see. So, first heading, paragraph, line, and now today's work is this table. But see, one thing missing table border is missing. Okay, so we'll go to the file. Now we will use another table attributes. Go in the table tag, give space here, just write border equals two. You can Set border 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 5 you can set it. So table border is 1 to 2. Oh, sorry, table border is equal to 2. So save it again and run the file. See border is here. So I hope you got it. So your homework is create a table like this up to 8 columns and for 10 students. Thank you.